Okay, so on the last part of this video or this, or this um, uh, video discussion, we have discussed the properties of exponents in which we have um, gave some examples on how to apply those properties. And also we define about the properties of or, or the uh, exponential notation itself. Okay, so now we will solve some examples so we have evaluate y is equals to 4 quantity 5 raised to the power of 2n plus 1 minus 10 times the quantity of 5 raised to the power of 2n minus 1 all over 2 quant quantity uh, times the quantity of 5 raised to the power of 2n so for this example we will try to simplify the expression in order for us to get the value of y so that's why the term is evaluate okay so first we have our solution we'll try to apply whatever uh, properties of exponent we could apply for this one so there's y we have four times so using the first property that is the um, multiplication property here this one use uh, no, this one the first property using this one so we could um we could um rewrite this one as 5 to n 5 raised to the power of 1 okay, as you can see here okay then the other the next expression or the next the next function here this is 10 we have 5 same also same uh, same procedure so 2n 5 negative 1 okay all over 2 5 to 5 raised to the power of 2n so what we now have here is we have common um, expression or common factors in our numerator and our denominator so we could cancel out this one and this one and this one so we'll, we'll end up with 4 raised to the power of 5 uh, 4 times 5 raised to the power of 1 or that will be equal to 5 minus 10 so this is 5 raised to the power of negative 1 so this is property number 9 so we could rewrite that one as 1 over 5 all over 2 because this this will just be equal to 1 so we have 20 minus so if we will multiply this one that will be 10 over 5 all over 2 then we have 20 minus 10 over 5 that will be 2 all over 2 so we'll end up with 20 minus 8 minus 2 that will be 18 over 2 that 18 over 2 and that is equal to 9 and this will be your answer okay so that is the value of y for this expression here so we have evaluate the value of y so i hope you understand something this video thank you for watching and as always enjoy learning